two things today. It's going to be the uh, Great Britain's economy and is um, Congress and the Senate, United States politics, are they going to be able to make something happen? with this new mix that we have. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. A lot of you watch that, that haven't subscribed and it's so simple. Please subscribe. But thanks anyway for watching. I'm Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So why not talk about that? Let's see if the cards can tell us if this British economy is going to pick up, if it's going to improve. And it seems to me that it has a lot to do with working out uh, what's going to happen with um, the Eurozone. But uh, so we'll talk about that and then see if, gosh, if this new mix now. So we've got a, uh, a Democratic uh, Senate uh, coming up and a split uh, Congress uh, under Republican control, but close. And uh, Nancy Pelosi... Uh, going to be stepping away from her leadership in January, and I forgot the name of who's going to take her place. I'll put it on the screen when I figure it out in between here, and a picture too. So we'll see if that's how all that's going to work out. Couldn't care less about Donald Trump. Okay, so we're going to talk about the British economy, see if that can be recovered from um, uh, with some sort of cooperation from the Eurozone. That guy Rishi's got a big job ahead of him. And then uh, we'll talk about uh, Nancy Pelosi's replacement, actually, Hakeem Jeffries, who's an interesting fellow. So um, let's get right into it. Get these cards out of here. I love these cards. These are the heaven and earth. So they're kind of uh, dark or kind of uh, noir. How about that? So put that up here. Um... What's happened, of course, is nationalism has caused uh, Great Britain to kind of just forget about uh, cooperation with other countries, us. It's all about us. We can take care of ourselves. We don't need anybody else. Well, as it turns out, we all need each other in this whole world. And um, so, you know, you cut off your nose to spite your face with this Brexit, my opinion. And uh, so we'll see if uh, there's going to be some sort of a, um, I don't know, I can't say a marriage, but a reconciliation of sorts where uh, trade gets a little easier with that Eurozone for Great Britain. Um, you know what, before we do anything else, and we're going to talk about uh, Nancy Pelosi's replacement too, but before we do anything else, let's go ahead and have just a moment of meditation. Um, so yeah, can Great Britain get themselves out of this? I mean, it was so obvious always that what this was going to cause. Um, so let's give these a good shuffle and uh, talk about Great Britain going to find some sort of recovery economically and um, get back on a superior track economically uh, six cards so one and if you haven't subscribed and a lot of people watch who haven't subscribed I mean it makes a big difference if you can do that I certainly would appreciate it so Great Britain's economy let's see the signifier card for the economy in general. I'm not going to say, will they get better? I'm going to say, let's see what the cards can tell us about the economy. Okay, so the first card up is the Hierophant. Very appropriate. You know, we're talking about the government here. And so the signifier of this talk about Britain's economy comes up as a Hierophant. 
couldn't be better. That's exactly what we're talking about. So the cards know where we're at. What's the challenge to the government then? Uh, it's this King of Cups. Okay, so cups are a compassion and emotion. And yet yeah, this um, very heartfelt situation, this nationalism that I think is what caused this breakup with uh, the Eurozone, um, if that's the correct, uh, you know, trade with Europe uh, in general as a group and, and, and leaving uh, that, uh, that, that, that arrangement. So uh, the challenge to that is this very compassionate King of Cups. It's all a huge emotional issue that you have to get over. First of all, I don't know. I want to say it's like when someone needs help and they want to take your help. And uh, they say, no, 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 I'm fine. I can do it myself. No, we can't do it ourselves. We all need help. The basis of this whole thing, will Great Britain get through this and come out on a, on a better side? Well, interesting. The way this card is described here is as great strength. Okay, this is the nine of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the nine of wands is really having been through a battle, but look, coming through the other side and ready to take on a little bit more. So that's what this is all about. All these issues are behind this one uh, 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 wand. He's holding, he's beat up, but he's ready to go on. So, and that's the base of it. Wow, it's sad to have the base of your reading to be such a weak um, or a battered uh, figure, okay? But it does show strength. The past to this then is pleasure. <laughs> so this is one of things the way they were. This is the uh, Six of Cups, and that's exactly what happened. It was the same uh, uh, as the American thing, make America great again. People thinking there was a better time when uh, there wasn't really. It was just in your mind. So that's the past of this. That's over. And uh, in the sky of this reading, with this uh, Princess of Wands, you know, the princess is going to be equal in authority to a page would be. She's the very least authoritative of the royal court, but she's royal. And wands are actions and getting things done. So if this were a page, it'd be, let me bring this idea to the court and see if you think it's, something can happen with it. And this princess is on fire. I mean, she is determined to get her message out. So the 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 sky of this whole reading, with being this princess of wands, is being determined to get that message out, to get s some action done. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, okay, this is very hopeful then. It looks like uh, Great Britain will find their way out because these are wands, these are actions, plans, forward movement. And you can see here that all these actions, all these plans have sprouts on them. And the four of wands is always uh, a celebratory on towards something bigger. And I'm encouraged by this card in this deck for this reading, for this outcome, because this smallish celebration has that looming other thing right here behind it, okay? Now I'll be darned if it doesn't, it's, I guess it's obviously a church, but I'll be darned if it doesn't remind me of Parliament a little bit. I mean, I know Parliament is a long uh, building, but I don't know, it just makes me think of that very authoritative situation. So will Britain get out of it? Look, we start out with the Hierophant. The cards knew what we're talking about right away, the government. And the challenge by very, uh, you know, a, a, just a kingly amount of compassion that was in the past that made the country steer its way into where they are now, all this emotion. And then the basis of the whole thing is really being beat up, but having the wherewithal to keep on going. And in the past of it, what caused all this was wishing things were the way they were, which they really never were that way. In the sky of this reading is a princess of wands, really, you know, she's determined to take this idea and get it presented and get it pushed forward. And then the likely outcome with the smaller celebrations and the four of wands, which are plans and actions and getting things done on towards something bigger, it'll happen. It is going to happen. Timing, I don't know. So now we can move on to Pelosi. And I'll do a reading later in a few days more in depth about Jeffries. And also there are two others who are going to be stepping up to leadership roles or, you know, nominated or suggested or thought that they're going to take the place of a couple of other leaders in the uh, U.S. Uh, politics on the Democratic side, uh, replacing old, old, old guard with some newer blood. Like this fella who's going to, uh, they expect to take Nancy Pelosi's place is still in his 50s, but uh, black Democrat from, I guess, a Brooklyn district that encompasses a little bit of Queens too and a lawyer, smart guy, and a number two to Nancy Pelosi right now. So will uh, Hakeem Jeffries, 
His parents were actually, um, I don't know if his mother was an attorney. I think his dad, um, I'll have to look that up. I'll do, I'll do a, a reading more in detail on him and the other two. Um, if not in one reading for all of them, then three separate readings. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, so the Hakeem Jeffries, is he going to replace, let's do three cards first and then we'll do a little bit more. So three cards, is he going to replace uh, Nancy? One, two, three. Hakeem Jeffries, will he replace Nancy? So, I mean, that's the first thing we have to know before we know anything else. First uh, card, wow. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, his time has come. The wheel has turned to be in his favor. Also with that, long-term plans. So this is something that was uh, being thought about. That was, uh, he was uh, this is the bench strength of the Democratic Party in Congress. Long-term plans. And then the final outcome, ah, Valor. So this is the seven of wands and standing up on that hill and fending off all these other actions and, uh, and looking pretty much like a winner. So yeah, he's going to do, he'll be replacing Nancy. So um, that's great. Now let's see if he will be successful in that position. Will Hakeem Jeffries be successful in that position uh, of, of Nancy's? And we'll do, let's do, we'll do six. Six cards. Will Hakeem Jeffries be successful in that position uh, replacing Nancy? Is he what uh, they need right now? Is he the right uh, recipe? And I can't help but think she would not have wasted that spot with him in number two, uh, if it wasn't going to be the best thing for the government in general. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to remind you again, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, a lot of you watch that are not subscribed, and it just makes a big difference. It's not hard to do, and it means more to me than you would ever know. So, Hakeem Jeffries, is he going to be successful in that, uh, in that spot? Signifier. Wow, swiftness. This is the Eight of Wands. Lots of issues coming at him, okay? So a lot of things uh, to deal with. It's an important place for him to be. And Nancy Pelosi will still be in Congress until 2025. So she'll be there as a sounding board. Oh, look, it's challenged by a broken heart. This is truth, justice, rules, and law. So all of these issues are challenged by the broken heart of the truth, justice, rules, and law. All this mess we've been going through for the last few years. That's the challenge to getting all these issues done. The basis of this, we come up with the queen of wands. You know, the wands are actions, plan, forward movement, getting something done, and the queen is on fire. I love this deck. It, uh, is, she's not the king, but that's the underpinning of this whole thing. So it's a, a place of strength. In the past of this here, ah, we have the four of cups, which was not quite wanting this emotional offering that's being sent to you. So, you know, this sounds to me like, you know, he was comfortable in his position and he wasn't going to push uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, so it's not something necessarily he wanted to happen. Um, but in the sky of it, ah, because all of these issues right here, look at what they represent. They just represent a nightmare. Okay, despair and cruelty is what this card is called here. So, um, yeah, so this uh, Nine of Swords is just, you know, it's a big, big uh, responsibility that he's going to have here for our government. And in the likely, out ah, the likely outcome of this is fantastic because he will be the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Value. He will fight for uh, that uh, remit that he's been given. So... Yeah, I think he will probably be successful. Uh, will he be successful in that position? Well, it starts out just reminding us that there's lots to deal with, and it's challenged by the broken trust, the broken heart for all the truth, justice, rules, and law that uh, we've been suffering through. But it's underpinned with this queen of wands, just a fiery queen of action, going to make something happen. And in the past, not really uh, being one to push her out, but ready to accept that responsibility uh, reluctantly. If she's definitely sure that she's going to move on because the best you can hope for in all this is that it's just going to be a nightmare. Okay. It's going to require a lot of sleepless nights, but the final outcome of the whole thing is that he will be a fighter uh, for that uh, value that uh, we're putting in him. So I think that's fantastic. The cards say what the cards say. So I thought that was very interesting and I hope you found it interesting too. Let me know what you'd like to hear about 
after you subscribe. You don't have to subscribe to tell me that, but it's it's very helpful if you would subscribe. But anyway, uh, let me know what you'd like to hear about, and that's what I'll do. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Scarabio cards, and i got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that there that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The um, I've not put them in the box well. The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a uh, of very uh, shaded uh, color here and there um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use and um, so very nice uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck you know because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to and uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Some cards that I love, love, love using. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come. So ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.